Yes boys, we are back and welcome to another video. So today we are going to be looking at a few weird items that have sold on eBay. I know, can you believe it? We've got some original content here on the channel. Although I really do feel like someone's going to comment down below, Ni -ni -ni, Dirty Dirt did this on their channel. And I'm just going to be like, oh for God's sake. But anyway, today I'm also going to be block recording. If you don't know what block recording is, it basically means you're going to see me in the same shirt for about four videos. And of course, because I've got an overinflated social persona, like about seven. 70% of people on this planet, it is going to sadden me quite a lot, but you're going to think I'm someone who wears the same shirt for four days in a row. Hang on a minute, I am someone who wears the same shirt for four days in a row sometimes, so, ah well, doesn't matter. So, with that being said, let's get on with the video uh, and let's see some weird items, well, supposedly weird items that have sold on eBay. It's probably going to be some really normal items and it's going to annoy me because it, it, they say it's weird, but it's probably not. But anyway, let's get into this. So, here we are on the independent website, eBay at 20. 20 of the weirdest things ever sold. Now, granted, this article is five years old, but still, the age of it doesn't really determine the validity of the weird items, so it doesn't really matter. But, I am uh, called back to my college and university days where you... We're meant to get articles that were really, really up to date, but who cares? We're not in university or college. So, with that being said, let's go down. We've got a lovely picture of an eBay logo there. I guess that's the headquarters somewhere. Where it, say? it doesn't even give reference to what it is on the bottom. Oh, that is weak. That is weak. Anyway, right, so we've got a nice little picture there of eBay. It is 20 years since eBay founder P P Pierre Omijar wrote the code for Auction Web, listed a broken laser pointer and sold it after one week to a laser pointer collector for $14.83. We are learning on this video here because I didn't know that for one, it was first called Auction Web and for two, the first item listed was a broken laser pointer. Oh, this is awesome. A year later and Auction Web had facilitated 7.2 million in sales. In 1997, in keeping with Omijar's dream of creating the most honest and open marketplace, Auction Web introduced seller feedback and renamed itself eBay. I, I, uh, eBay? Right, okay. But why, I guess, why did we choose eBay? eBay. I mean, yeah, okay, e-commerce and then Bay, but how does that necessarily relate to honest and open marketplace? You would have thought that that would come, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Today, Omijar's personal net worth is 8.4 billion. He doesn't actually own eBay anymore, I don't think. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think he does. While Forbes lists, lists the site as one of the 50 most valuable brands in the world, it boasts 150 million buyers, about 25 million sellers, and about 100 million, uh, 800 million listings. Wow, it's crazy. Right, let's have a look at some of these weird items. Oh, I was hoping we'd do pictures. Oh, for God's sake, anyway. Right. One, a grilled cheese sandwich with a face of Virgin Mary. Okay. So, oh, I've seen that as well on um, the face of Jesus on certain items as well. There was, wasn't the one on a piece of toast, the face of Jesus on a piece of toast. Sold for, anyway, it sold for staggering 28,000 in 2004. The grilled cheese sandwich is said to have magical powers and was left untouched by mold for more than a decade. Oh my God. Who's paying 28 grand for that? Oh, that is crazy, according to the woman who made it. A ghost in a jar. A jar that a man, uh, that a man believed to contain a ghost was put up for auction on eBay because it was terrorising its owner. The seller, and I'm not here to criticise people who believe in ghosts. I myself don't believe in ghosts, but if you want to believe in them, then that's perfectly fine. Uh, I think that once someone's dead, they're dead and that's it. And yeah, new people will spring up on the planet, but that's new people, that's not the old people so yeah i don't believe basically i don't believe in ghosts so the seller but if you believe in ghosts that's fine um but i don't so i always kind of have a little bit of a chuckle when i hear something like that tj101 claimed that he would not be held responsible if the black thing escaped black thing but if it's a ghost surely it has no color surely it's just transparent or something I don't know. Anyway, escape the jar and that all sales are final. After numerous bids, the jar sold for, uh, for just around $55,000. But the buyer never paid for the item in the end. Yeah, well, never. We're paying 55 grand for that for. A haunted rubber duck. Another haunted item actually sold on eBay. A rubber duck that, according to its owner, had the power to possess children. Why is there all these like, paranormal stuff? 
The seller said that he would not be responsible for the duck after shipping. He had he will not field questions or help explain its unusual mystique. The duck sold after a week, making him a profit of a hundred and seven dollars. Well, like blooming hell. I bet he paid as well on that, because he didn't say they've not paid anyway. That's that's awesome, that is, if he got 107 for that. A Dorito shaped like the Pope's hat. I didn't oh yeah, the Pope, yeah, he has a hat, doesn't he? He has that big yeah, that long one, isn't it? I was like, what? Does the Pope have a hat? I didn't know that. Anyway, the item was sold for 1209 in 2005. The buyer, online casino, uh, golden The same one who bought the Virgin Mary. Oh my god, that's crazy. They must have a, a liking for um, certain weird items, I suppose. The meaning of life. And someone just wrote some sort of... I don't know, a piece of, on a piece of paper, some sort of weird secret that doesn't pertain to anything about the meaning of life, and then literally you sold it on you. I think that's what's happened here. In 2000, a man from North Carolina discovered the, discovered the meaning of life. Oh my god, that is, oh, that is crazy. And decided to sell it on eBay. Curi curiously, it was worth only $3.26. Well, never, yeah. Uh, I, well, at least I've got some pictures here, but I'd like some pictures of the actual items instead of just random photos. A 10-year-old girl from England tried to sell her... Oh, well, that's a classic. You've seen that. I bet people have seen that in uh, TV shows. and so I'm sure that's been on The Simpsons or some, something like that. It's been on so many TV shows where they try and sell people on eBay. That's a classic one. Describing the relative as annoying but cuddly... Uh, the internet auction site had to take down the offer as it was breaching regulations on human trafficking. Actually, I've seen YouTubers do that where they've sold the best mates and stuff on eBay. So yeah, I've seen that quite a lot. Britney Spears bubblegum. Uh, a woman sold a piece of bubblegum. You see, this is a bit a bit less weird. I know it's weird, but it's not actually that weird considering these days. Um, yeah, so a uh, piece, piece of bubblegum that Britney Spears has ch had chewed and spat out. Um, at a concert at Wembley Arena in 2000. The winning bid was 14 fat. Well, that's crazy. I didn't think it would go for that much. Unwanted Brussels sprouts. This is the classic. This is prime weirdness on eBay right here. So, uh, Her Herefordshire's Dan Allum, Allum, I think that is, has kept the Christmas spirit alive not once but twice by auctioning off the uneaten sprouts from his birthday roast and donating all the money to Mike, uh, Ma Mike, Make-A-Wish Foundation, raising £99.99 and, uh, pounds and £34 pounds respectively. What? That's crazy. I heard of um, someone who'd sold a tea towel or something as well that was all stained up and everything for, I don't know how much, but uh, I think a fair bit of money for what it was. Um, a man's life. So, isn't that basically slavery? A man's life. Ian Usher put up his entire life for auction, including his house in Perth, his belongings, an introduction to his friends, Oh, wait, no, I get what he's doing. So he's not actually selling himself as a sort of, as kind of in that slavery manner. He's selling his life and then he's supposedly going to go away and get a new life. I don't know. That's weird. It's still, that is weird. His life sold for 384000 allowing him a fresh start. Whoa, that is... That is crazy. But surely that just got taken down anyway. Surely eBay just stepped in on that one. Because that's... You know, with the grandmother one as well. You would have thought we would have stepped in on that one. Imaginary friend. Georgia Horrocks, a 22-year-old Londoner studying at the London School of Communication, put up Bernard... Um, Bernard, that's classic. That is like classic imaginary friend as well. That's like Foster's home for imaginary friends, that is. Only the people who are about my age, I suppose, will get that reference. But anyway, her imaginary friend up for sale on uh, the advice of her psychiatrist. Of the advice of her psychiatrist? What a psychiatrist is saying to do that? Right, okay, it may clear something in her mind, I suppose. But eBay's just going to take it down and it's just a weird, that's just a weird way. And surely that's just abandonment of, an, of her imaginary friend instead of internal acceptance of him as a part of her. What? That's ridiculous. Anyway, she described her a friend as uh, in very good health. She created a starting bid of just 99 pence. Bernard will not be sent by a post.
but will be sent via, via imagination to the winning bidder. Oh, that is some classic stuff, that is. Oh, that is incredible. Unassembled snowman. So, we just got a random picture of some place here that isn't even pertaining to the actual item, which is annoying. Again, I'd like to see some actual pictures of items here. Although, I don't know how you would photograph an unassembled snowman, but still. An unassembled snowman has been posted on au on auction site eBay by one enterprising individual from Rotherham. Rotherham! The rain over Rotherham. 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 If you know uh, Chuckle, if you know Chuckle Vision, you'll get that. Oh, that was such a good episode, that was, when Barry becomes a, a superstar. If you don't know, Chuckle Vision is my third, second or third favourite TV show ever. Um, and, yeah, that, that, um... That episode where Barry becomes famous is so good. Anyway, attempting to make... I've just sidetracked so much. <laughs> I've, I've lost my place here. Attempting to make the most of the wintry weather, the bold seller has posted a picture of a snowy back, back garden under the description, Six Foot Snowman Requires Assembly. You see, there is quite a lot of humour in that, to be honest. Um, the initial bid stood at 10 million, which might explain why it was later taken down by the website here. Yeah. I would have thought that more of these things would have been taken down by the website, but clearly eBay must have a bit of a sense of humour, which is which is good to see, although still, sticky situations could arise. In 2009, 36-year-old... Oh, I can't even pronounce that. It, uh, uh, oh, Arkansas. Arkan that's in America, right? Not Kansas, but Arkansas. I, I think so. Anyway, woman, uh, love... Oh, love... Lavon? Lavon. Okay, Lavon Drummond. Decided to sell the right... I'm terrible with names. Decided to sell the rights to her name... Uh, to name her unborn child on eBay. Unfortunately for Lavon Drummond, eBay was less respect receptive to her auction and shut the first four down. Though they had reached a combined total of over 41,000. Whoa, people attribute a lot of value to just a name, don't they? That's crazy. Uh, the fifth and final auction actually reached a sale at the end of August 2009 for a grand sum of 6,800. That's still crazy for naming rights. But a winning bidder was told uh, told Drummond he was actually uh, he was trying to help her auction and had no intentions of actually paying her nor naming her baby. So I guess he was just trying to buy it so that then she didn't have to do that or something. I don't know. I don't even get it. A human liver. A man from Florida auctioned off his liver on eBay. The bid, don't you need your liver? I'm pretty sure that's a vital organ. The bid reached 5.7 million before it was taken down by the site due to the fact that it's illegal to sell human organs on eBay. And the fact that, that I'm pretty sure that's a vital organ. So, I mean, it's okay if you want to sell a kidney. It depends on your perspective on morals. But if someone's okay with selling their kidney, then, and we can find a way to do it, then I just, well, yeah, go for it. But... Yeah, like a vital organ. Yeah, I, I, yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, Justin Timberlake's half-eaten French toast. The toast was sold for one thousand and twenty-five in two thousand when the singer left it behind after an interview with the New York radio station. The leftover breakfast was put for sale by a DJ uh, and a nineteen-year-old fan placed for winning bid. Half-eaten French toast. My God, what are these? Some of these crazy things. Ghostbusters proton pack toy. An Italian. Uh, that's actually not that weird, is it? Really? Why is that on here? A nostalgic treasure from the 1980s classic Ghostbusters. A proton pack toy, complete with ghost trap, was supposed to help its new owner stun and catch any ghosts. It was sold for. Unless it means that they've created it themselves and it's a one-off type thing, but it's still not that weird, is it? Really? Ah, here we go. This is a good one. Add space on forehead. Andrew Fisher, or Fisher, Fisher, I think the C is silent, so we're going to say Fisher, a web designer from Nebraska, auctioned off uh, the use of his forehead. He said he would have a non-permanent logo, or well, obviously non-permanent, or brand name tattooed on his head for 30 days. After several bids, he received 37,000 to advertise the snoring men remedy, Snore Stop. My God, some of these. A box of 10 Twinkies, that's not really that. I don't think that's that, that weird, really. A fish ornament, Royal Copenhagen. Why are these getting normal? These are starting to get normal now. I'm pretty sure that's just normal. This one's not normal. Virginity. 
A nine, 18-year-old British girl sold her virginity on eBay. It was bought by a bit... What? This is dodgy. This is dodgy. It was bought by... Bought by... Yeah, bought. I thought, I thought it said bought then. Bought by a businessman who kindly gave her the money she needed. Oh, right, okay, cool. That, that's not dodgy then, but you could see how that gets dodgy. You could see how that would get proper dodgy. Oh, yeah, that's 20. We're done. That's all the... That's all the weirdness of, of this video. It, it, it's crazy, weird uh, items that have sold on eBay there. So, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit a like down below. If you uh, haven't already, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, drop a comment down below and all that sort of stuff if I've not even said that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one, guys. So, see you very soon. Watch it, I'll slow down.